but with some corner sharpening applied to improve definition. I will be engraving a sample with a 30 degree coated carbide engraving tool with a 0.2mm tip at 7 thousandths of an inch, then cutting the sample out with a 3mm single fluted spiral cutter at approximately a tenth of an inch. First, it's important to accurately find the surface of the material with a tool tip, as I'll only be taking off a small amount of material. Ideally, engraving should be done at high spindle speed. I'm cutting at 24,000 RPM at 0.3 meters per minute, or 12 inches per minute, with a 0.08 millimeter step over, or 3 thousandths of an inch. In the first part of the process, I'll be area filling the shapes at a cut depth of 0.2 millimeters, or 8 thousandths of an inch. This process can take some time, but you can get some good results. Depending on the design, it may be possible to use a wider tip tools for large flat areas. This would reduce the machining time, but you'd still need to change to a smaller tool to maintain sharpness in the corners. Sometimes, to make the text stand out, the job is finished by flood filling the engraved areas with paint or wax. If you're going to do this, then make sure the cut depth is at least half a millimetre or two hundredths of an inch. For the second part of the sample, I'm cutting at a depth of 0.5 millimetres, two hundredths of an inch and I'll be removing the area around the text so the text and the logo sits proud. This is where the 3D corner sharpening will ensure that the internal corners do not become rounded. You will notice I am not using any lubricants while cutting, provided you are using a good quality hard engraving brass then it won't be necessary. 